All right, thanks for watching this video. Envelope budgeting, fail. Yeah, so the past couple of weeks have been really, really crazy. Like crazy, as in unpredictable crazy. So as some of you may know, uh, we had to put our dog down a couple of weeks ago. And it wasn't too crazy of a vet bill because we knew it was going to be, you know, a few hundred dollars or whatever to put our dog down but what we didn't anticipate was that our second dog was going to be depressed and uh, they're both Dachshunds and normally she's very very healthy normally just nothing wrong with her whereas the other dog Odie always seemed to have some kind of a problem anyways she didn't eat uh, her name is Sadie she didn't eat anything for a few days after um, we put our other dog down and yeah she got really sick took her to the vet so about six hundred dollars later um, she's bounced back hooked her up to some IV and put some medication in her and all kinds of stuff different kind of dog food etc but that's something that I didn't count on I didn't count on putting eight hundred dollars into our dogs over the past two weeks then I was also helping my son do the brakes and I budgeted for about $200, $250 and uh, it ended up costing like $400 to do the brakes because I, one of the cylinders, uh, what do they call I don't even know, I'm not a mechanic, but seized up one of the pistons or whatever you call it for the, the front brakes, seized up so we had to replace both of them. And then also the brake pads, the rotors, etc. I had to buy some tools. So all of a sudden, I'm over $1,200. Over. And I didn't budget for that at all. So I have no spending money right now. Uh, we have no entertainment money in our envelopes. It feels like all our envelopes are empty. Um, I do obviously have cash in our uh, miscellaneous home envelope and or other envelopes but i say all that because life has a way of just sneaking up on you and snowballing you so i i didn't anticipate that i knew our dog was getting sick but i didn't i should have anticipated it but not uh i didn't predict it would go um uh, it would get that expensive is what i'm trying to say but I know uh, I get paid on Friday, so we're going to start all over again, top up all the envelopes. Uh, I'm probably going to cut back on the entertainment envelope a little bit because uh, in less than two weeks we're off to Mexico. So there's no reason for us to go out and have steak and all that kind of stuff. So um, we're going to crack down on that. And then also my blow money, uh, I'm going to try not to spend as much as well over the next week or so um, and then also our um, uh, vehicle envelope I'm not gonna put anything in that envelope for this next month because I already fixed two vehicles I got the oil changes all that kind of stuff so I don't need to spend any more money especially if we're gonna be gone for a week as well so uh, that'll help out for that and our grocery money will probably come down a little bit because uh, again, we'll be in Mexico, so uh, a lot of that will get allocated for our vacation. So, again, um, it, it can be overwhelming, it can be frustrating, but thank God since January that we've been doing the envelope budgeting system because this would overwhelm me, would have depressed me quite a bit. But uh, we do have money. We did have money in our savings as well that we uh, put aside. Um, I'm also saving up for a truck as well so I dipped into that but that was we basically we have a savings um, that we say this is how much money we're gonna top it up to and then that's what we keep it for emergencies exactly like this um, so because I'm, I'm slowly building up my emergency envelope as well I think I have like fifty dollars sixty dollars or whatever in that envelope and the idea behind that envelope is supposed to be for emergencies exactly like what just happened to me. 
So if you're not saving up for emergencies, I encourage you to save up. And uh, even if it's $40, $50 a paycheck, because let me tell you, emergencies will come. Uh, vehicles will break down. And I, I knew I had to do some things with my vehicle and my son's vehicle, but sometimes you just can't predict how much it's going to cost. So hopefully that helps. If you have any stories, I'd love to hear them as well. And uh, be encouraged. Uh, if you don't budget, I just don't know how people do it. I really don't. So anyways, that's my video for today. And don't forget to subscribe to my video. And thanks for watching.